Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa, Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today, 23rd June 2019, we are going to study moral concept. Moral concept deals with the number of calculations in exams. Let us begin with relative atomic mass. An atom is made up of a nucleus consisting of protons and neutrons and a system of electrons in energy levels. So we are saying that an atom is made up of a nucleus, within the nucleus we have protons plus neutrons. Then around the nucleus we have a system of energy levels within which electrons are located properties of subatomic particles. Then we have protons Proton is, the mass of a proton is one, the mass of a neutron is one, the mass of electron, electron is one over one, eight, four, eight, four, three, the mass of a proton. The mass of a proton is P, is one, the mass of a neutron, small n is one, the mass of an electron, e, is one over one eight four three times the mass of a proton. Atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. Atomic mass is the sum of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. We have seen that the mass of an electron is almost negligible compared to the mass of a proton and a neutron. So the mass of an atom, we add the number of protons and the number of neutrons in an atom. Isotopes are atoms that contain the same number of protons but different number of neutrons. All atoms of the same elements will contain the same number of protons but may have different number of neutrons. So isotopes are atoms that contain the same number of protons but different number of neutrons. Relative atomic mass is the number of times atoms of an element are as heavy as a twelve of the atomic mass of carbon twelve. Carbon twelve has got six protons and six Neutron is. That's the atomic mass is an average atomic masses of isotopes of an element in a ratio of their existence. Example 1. Chlorine exists in two isotopic forms. Chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 in a percentage composition of 75% and 25% respective. Calculate relative atomic mass of chlorine. 
percentage is out of 100. The mass of 100 atoms of chlorine will be equal to 75 of them, it will be weighing 35, it will be weighing 35 times 75, then 25%, 25 atoms out of 100, each one will be weighing 37, which will be equal to 37 times 25. Then relative atomic mass is the average, average which is equal to 35 times 75 plus 37 times 25 over 100 atoms and this one will be equal to 35.5. So the relative atomic mass of chlorine will be equal to 35.5 The Science Foundation College in Namavu kuwe jinja Ngo ingila kilomite mu Somino liya dene boarding Ili yaba wala naba lenzi Ku olevo tusomisa arts ni sciences Ate erevo tusomisa sciences zoka Umwana mletu ku The Science Foundation College Fetu singo kusomisa sciences Okumanya visinga o Kwa ku 0 musambu 5 satu Chinana Abili musambu 0 muenda The Science Foundation College Best on sciences And best for sciences Example 2, we can rephrase the equation and say that the relative atomic mass of chlorine is 35.5. It exists in two isotopic forms, chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. Calculate the relative abundance of chlorine 35. Solution. Let the percentage of chlorine 35 be x. Therefore, the percentage of chlorine 37 will be equal to 100 minus 100 minus x. The total percentage is 100. If the percentage of chlorine 35 is x, the percentage of chlorine 37 will be 100 minus x. Then mass of 100 atoms of chlorine will be equal to 35x plus 100 minus x times 37. Then relative atomic mass is equal to average is equal to 35.5. This one will be equal to the mass of 100 atoms, which is 35x plus 37 into 100 minus x over 100. Then X will be equal to 75 percent. Therefore, the percentage of chlorine 35 is equal to 75, and the, and the percentage of chlorine 37 will be equal to 100 minus 75, which will be equal to 25. Example of three, copper has a relative atomic mass of 63.55 and it consists of two isotopes of mass 63 and 65. Calculate the percentage composition of the isotopes. You can pause, calculate and then compare your answer with mine. So solution let the percentage of copper 63 be x. The percentage of copper 65 
will be equal to 100 minus x mass of 100 atoms of copper will be equal to 63x plus 65 into 100 minus x. Then the relative atomic mass is equal to average, which is equal to 63.55 is equal to 63x plus 65 into 100 minus x over 100. It implies that 2x is equal to 6500 minus 6355, which is equal to 145, and therefore x is equal to 72.5. Therefore, the percentage of copper, 63, is equal to 72.5 and the percentage of copper, 65, will be equal to 100 minus 72.5, which is equal to 27.5. The mass spectrum of an element A containing the following is at mass charge ratio 54, 56, 57, and 57, 58, and 58. Relative intensities 5.81, and 0, and 0 0.3. One, calculate the atomic mass of A. You can pause, pause, calculate, and then you compare your answer with mine. So the total intensity solution is total intensities will be equal to 5.84 plus 91.68 plus 2.17 plus 0 0.31 which is equal to 100. Then relative atomic mass, remember the mass of each peak corresponds relative atomic mass of each isotopes. Then the relative atomic mass of the element is the sum, is the average. Relative atomic mass of an element is the average of relative atomic mass, is the average of atomic masses of isotopes in the rest of there existence. So, relative atomic mass of A will be equal to 5.84 over total 100 times 54 plus 91.68 over 100 times 56 plus 2.17 over 100 Times fifty seven plus fifty eight times zero point three one over hundred, which gives us fifty five point nine, which will give you fifty five point nine.
negative molecular masses or formula masses or molecular masses of compounds. This is the sum of individual relative atomic masses of the atoms that make a molecule of a compound. For example, relative molecular mass of water will be equal to the two hydrogens here, each one weighing one mass, and oxygen atom, each one weighing 16, and this is equal to 18. Relative molecular mass of ammonium sulfate. These two here multiply whatever is in the bracket. So the mass will be 2 into nitrogen is 14 plus hydrogen, each one is 1, but there are 4. Then plus 32. 4 multiplies into the mass of oxygen plus 4 times 16, which is equal to 132. Then relative atomic mass, relative molecular mass of sodium chloride. The mass of sodium chloride is 23. The mass of chlorine is 35.5. So relative atomic mass of sodium chloride is 58.5. The molecular mass of sulfuric acid. So you calculate that to make a mass and then you compare your answer with the mine. Hydrogen is 1 times 2, sulfur is 32, oxygen is 16 times 4, and this one will give us 98.